Timestamps are in the description. In this video, I will show you how to create overlays similar to these. Open up Photoshop and click New. Make the width 1920 and the height 1080 and the resolution 300 pixels per inch and click Create. Now go online and search the game's name and find a good image with a good resolution. In this example, I'm just choosing the game Valorant. Click on the image you like, right click it, click open in a new tab, and then right click that picture, copy image, go back to Photoshop and hit Control V. Now press Control T, which brings up the transform tool, and move the image into the corner and let it snap in place with these smart guides. And then hold shift and click on the bottom right corner and drag it so that it fills up the entire screen. And once it looks good, press enter. Now create a new layer and select a random color. Click the paint bucket tool or just press G on your keyboard and then click and fill up the screen. Now press Ctrl T, hold shift and resize this to however big you want your gameplay to be on the stream. When you're resizing this, make sure you keep in mind how big your webcam is also going to be. So keep in mind the space your webcam is going to take up and the space that the gameplay is going to take up. If you want them to overlap, that's totally okay. We're going to do that in this video too. Now that it's all sized up, go into OBS and take a screenshot of your current setup. An easy way to take a screenshot in Windows is just to hit Alt and Print Screen and that'll capture the current window you have selected. Go back to Photoshop and hit Ctrl V and it'll paste that screenshot. To easily zoom in and out while using Photoshop, hold down the Alt key and then use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Now use the Marquee tool and just select the window that contains your gameplay and stuff. Once it's selected, hit Ctrl X, turn off the previous layer and then hit Ctrl V and it'll paste it. And now hit Ctrl T and we're gonna resize this to fit the entire screen. And once you do that, we're gonna crop out the webcam by doing the same thing we did last time. Use the marquee or selection tool, select your webcam, hit Ctrl X, turn the previous layer off, hit Ctrl V, and now you have your webcam cut out and we can position that wherever we want on our overlay. Make sure you have the webcam layer selected. And once you do that, select the magic wand tool, which is also W on your keyboard and click outside of the webcam and it should select everything except for the webcam and then go to select and click inverse. This will inverse the selection so it will select only the webcam. Now select the layer that has the background image on it and press delete. Select the layer with the gray gameplay square. Use the magic wand tool and select the square and go back to the background image layer and press delete. Now make the webcam and the gray square layers invisible. As you can see, the webcam overlaps with the gameplay. Now, make the background layer invisible as well. I'm just going to grab the color that's already on this picture by using the eyedropper tool, which is just I on your keyboard, or you can click on it, and then selecting that red color. Now we're going to make a simple border by using the shape tool. So click on the shape tool and make sure it's on the rectangle tool. Make sure to check up top that the fill is set to the color that you chose and the stroke is set to nothing. The stroke is essentially just an outline around your shape. So if you do want that, then you can set it to whatever you want. But in this example, we're going to leave it empty. Now start by creating a rectangle. Once it looks good, hit enter. And then in the layer section, hold alt and click on your layer and hold down slightly below and you can see that it's going to duplicate by looking at the mouse cursor icon. Let go of it and it'll duplicate that layer. Alternatively, you could just right click that layer and select duplicate layer. Now, press V on your keyboard to bring up the move tool. Left click on the rectangle, then hold shift and move the rectangle to the other side of the frame. Once it looks good, let go and we're gonna duplicate that layer again now hit Ctrl T to bring up free transform, hold shift, and then rotate it 90 degrees so that it is parallel to the bottom side of the shape. Then just align it and stretch it by holding shift. After that, just duplicate it and repeat the process for the remaining sides. All right, now you can see that the boxes are created, but there's also that small overlap. To get rid of this, what we're gonna do is we're going to merge each shape layer into their respective shape. To merge the layers, select the ones you want and then right click and click Merge Shapes. So we're gonna merge all the shapes that are in the big box into one and then merge all the smaller rectangles into the small box. So there's two distinct shape layers. 
Once we do that, we can simply select the portion we want to delete, select the big shape layer, and hit the delete key. If you get an error like this, don't worry, just right click the layer that we are trying to delete, and hit rasterize layer. Then you can hit delete again, and it will delete the portion that we selected. Now we could just leave this as is, it's a very simple looking overlay, but if you want to add a little bit more detail or some more elements, what you can do is add some PNG images of characters from the game. For example, in this game, I'm going to choose Phoenix because that's the character I like to play the most. So I'm just going to go onto Google and type in Phoenix PNG. It's going to be the same process. I'm going to right click the picture, click copy image, and hit Control V and Photoshop and paste it in here. Now, working with complex PNGs such as this one can be a little bit awkward, so I'll show you some of the techniques that I use to maintain the integrity of the image. The first thing we're going to do is move the image where we want it, and then resize it to the size we want it. And we can do that using the movement tool, and then pressing Ctrl T to scale it down. Now, select the magic wand tool, and then make sure you're on the layer of your character's image, and then click on the black space or whatever color, and click delete. However, sometimes it might select more than that. It might select some portions of your character. If that happens, what you should do is duplicate the image and then line up both of those, select the empty space and hit delete on one of those images. And then on the second image, use the lasso tool to select all the portions that were deleted from the character and then go back to the untouched image, hit control C and then control V and they'll be brought back onto a new layer and you kind of just repeat this process and merge these layers as much as you want until you get the image that you want. Now we can leave this overlay as it is or we can add a box to put the chat inside of in case you want that. So to do that just select the marquee tool and create a box above our webcam box and once you do that select that color again create a new layer click on the paint bucket tool Fill that box in, hit Ctrl D to deselect, and there we go. We can leave it as it is, or we can adjust the opacity or transparency by going down into the layer settings and selecting it right there. We're gonna change it to around 30-ish percent. Looks good to me. And there you have it. That is going to be our overlay. Now, of course, you can add anything else you want in, like your social medias or whatever. Now we're going to export this as a PNG by going to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG, and then save it wherever you want. Now go to OBS and add an image source and navigate to the overlay that we just created. Now it's just a matter of resizing and cropping things. So resize your overlay so that it fits the screen and then resize your gameplay captures and your webcam capture. A quick tip for your webcam, if it doesn't fit the box, and it's not resizing properly, you can hold the Alt key and crop the edges. And you can do that with any of your sources. If you hold Alt, you can easily crop things to the size that you want them. Then just move your overlay above the other sources so that it is in front, and there you go. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. To share your art, graphic design, cool video edits, or other creative projects, join my Discord server and post them in the creative channel. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right now I'm playing through The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Get the f I jumped, dude! I'm at like one he Oh my god, I'm literally gonna die. Can I please get a heal? Where's the blue room? It's oh, it's over. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.